this is episode two of Studio Talks. Um, today we've got Keith as a as a guest. Hello, Hello. Keith. Hello, uh, Jane. Hello, Josh. Hello. Hello. Uh, so, Keith, how are you doing? You? How are you doing in the lockdown? <laughs> um, quietly going mad, I think. You know, uh, no, I try to keep involved, involved and busy and do things. You know. Um, the great thing is I've got Georgina does the art still and I have a go at that and I do some daft singing and I do some daft comedy. Um, for those people who saw Johnny Spangle the other day, I washed my hands of that man. <laughs> yeah. When I was your age, there used to be a, man, a thing on called Man in a Suitcase. It was about a detective. Mm. Now you've got Man in a Toolbox. It's about an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, with that, have you, have you got any suggestions for people who are going mad over the lockdown? Yeah, you've got to get some kind of hobby and something to do. If you don't do any, you know, if you stick, sat there watching the goggle box, you're going to go insane. So um, luckily, I've got my fish, I've got a pond outside, I've got an aquarium here, and I look after them. Um, I do some painting, uh, you know, artwork, I do some drawing, I do some writing, some music. So I'm pretty, hey, James, that book has started five years ago. Yeah. I've edited it for the second time. I've edited oh, it. Oh, nice. Again. Oh, nice. And I've got an editor. Getting, getting somewhere. For the first time. Um, so I'm really made up with that. But um, if you stop, that's when you start thinking of things. And you can't yeah. do that. You've got to keep yourself occupied. I think that's the. If, if, that, if, there's, any, if there's any positive sides to this, I mean, the, there's no stopping with the lockdown. Like, if, if you do stop, then you're just going to go bored. So. It's, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know I mean? just gotta find so yeah, you've gotta keep your yeah. mind active. Yeah. Well, get I, the rest every day. Yeah, well that's I've got my shorts on now, lads. I'm not showing you. Yeah, it's the same. <laughs> I, I I can't go over the door, you know. Um yeah. So it, it's a bit mad for me. I'm going to back garden, but um it, it, you know, I've only got a little back garden type thing. But I, I do that. Um but I'm getting to the point now that I don't wear socks and underpants. You know, I just wear shorts. <laughs> I had a, I'll be honest, I, mean, I had, the, I had the, a the sock. The woman next door was terrified because I did a day I walked out with my two mm -hmm. <laughs> I had a I had a sock day this morning where I was like, should I just not wear socks? Like, well, that's it. You know, I live on my own. I've got to do the washing sort of thing. <laughs> don't wear yeah. anything. You don't have to wash it then. You know, great. Yeah, idea. exactly. Um, got a good point. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm gonna shower every day and put deodorant on. And I thought nobody's seen me, no one's even coming in the house. So I've got yeah. a, a shower once every three days now and don't wear deodorants. Right. It smells pretty woofy, but don't care. I was no gonna say this, no one's gonna know, is it? Um, no, I, I'm still sticking to shower every day. Yeah, Just sticking. I've not lost my marbles that much yet. No, Need no. a haircut though, look at this. Oh no, I, I'm, I was just talking about this, my, my hair's just slowly going out. That's a big advantage, I've got over you two, I've got no hair. Well, I've got a little bit, but I shave it. Mm. I shave it once a week and that's it, you know, it's done. So it's until I run out of blades, which I'm doing pretty fast. It's mm. uh, it's the daft things in it, you know, daft things you think, I haven't got any of that. And you think, oh my, I can't even go out for it, you know. Mm. Um, it's like my mate said, you can decorate that front room. I said, I can't. I said, why? I said, I've got no paint or anything. You can't just yeah. go out get paint. You know, I'll just go and get a paintbrush. And <laughs> just... uh, it's mad. So, obviously, you've been going to order the studio. offline, oh, isn't it? The easiest. What was that, Josh? Just saying, order stuff offline. That's probably the best way for you to get mm. paint Well, I've in. ordered this. I ordered fish food online for me, choppies, because I'm running out of fish food fast. It's coming a week on Friday. But... It's, it, the tub's massive and it's costing me 20 quid, but the fish need as well to get it. It should last me for another 10 years, so that should be all right. <laughs> well, yeah. hopefully, that's not as long as the, the lockdown goes. Oh, don't hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, obviously, you've been going to the studio for, for a long time. Um, do you want to talk about the first, like, uh, like how you got into falls and stuff? Yeah, I got involved years and years and years ago at the studio when it, the council first opened it again as a theatre. And I did some plays there with minimum wage and uh, Upton Theatre Company, which I used to run. And then um, it went back into ruins again, you know. 
And then uh, about, oh, how long is it? Four, four years ago, uh, mm. my good mate, uh, that old fella that knocked around me, what's his name? Jarris, Jet Jarris, the old one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He said to me, um, come down to the studio and do a, a comedy thing, you know? Mm. And when I went down there and I met Louise again, who I've known for years, and Greg, and people like that, and met yourselves, uh, Linda, Tom, Jamie B, all them people, you know, Colette. And I thought, this is great, this place. And I, I, I used to be there a lot. <clears throat> but one of the stories I put on you today, I was doing a play actually in the Queen's Hall, and we used to have to fire a gun five times. It was only blanks, you know. Yeah, but it was pretty horrific. The first night actually it blew up in my hand, but we had to get a new gun. But the police had to be notified that there'd be five shots. Now, in the interval, the Queen's Hall we used to use as a sort of, uh, sorry, the studio was used as a sort of green room because mm. there used to be like, an umbilical cord onto the Queen's Hall from the it. Queen's Hall, yeah. And, and um, two of the lads went out into what's now our beautiful garden at the studio and fired the gun twice. And we were just about to go on for the second time, and the place was surrounded by local constabulary. And the police wanted to know why there'd be seven shots, and we know because because there should be five, and they were counting. Honestly, it was crazy. So we nearly got shut down over that, but luckily we didn't. So the studio, uh, I've got lots of history in the studio, mm. um, and I just love the place. Yeah. 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 It's a, it's a good, nice community. Everyone feels like they've got a place to. That's like, right, Josh. Yeah, definitely. I love the, you know, I, I'm like, what do we call it? An associate now. And you guys, yeah, yeah. that's good. Um, but when we go in, we're all just mates and we just all get on with it. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's our thing, you know. My two brothers, uh, they've both retired now and they were doing nothing at all. So my middle brother said to him, why don't you come to the art lesson? Mm. And he went, oh, I can't do art. You know? And he came, he only came two weeks and then we had to close. But he loves it and he's following George, you know, now online. And doing yeah, yeah. Probably better than me. But then they both started coming to guitar lessons, you know, jam sessions. And mm. our Derek's bought a guitar and our John's borrowed one of mine. So, uh, you know, it, the studios don't have to, they just started coming. And, and, like, and like building upon jam, jam session, I mean, it, it, it's a good little weekly group, the, the jam session, isn't it? It's great, Josh. And we started off with about four or five of us, and now it's built up. So we yeah. did a weekly counting, and we had 17 people there. We did. It's, it's, it's becoming like a, it's massive, isn't it now? Well, either um, John or I, or yourself, even you've done, and Charlotte's done a bit of ukulele. Mm. I've gone and helped people who can't play at all. Mm. Um, or John will go and help them, or I'll go and help them. And that encourages people. It's like my two brothers, you know, haven't picked up a guitar for about 100 years and they, they didn't know anything about guitars. So mm. I went with them and just taught them basic chords. And they're now loving it, you know, and they can't mm. wait for it to, to start yeah. again, which is a great thing. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. We need more people coming to the art sessions when they get going again. Oh, yeah, no, they, we had a lot of people coming, and then it, it clashed with us. Something happened that we couldn't do it. Why? And it, it dropped off, and there was only two or three of us last time. So oh. it's a great session, and it's all free. The yeah, it's it's free. I mean, you know, uh, what, what's funny is we we always just assume that everyone knows it's it's free, like everything we do. Yeah, you know, it's right. is, is a yeah. is a great opportunity. That's um, right, Jim. So so over the lockdown, you've done a lot of. Um, stuff at the studio like not at the studio but for the studio haven't you like you did yeah. you've done comedy you did a didn't you do a jam session the other day i did a jam session the other day uh, i forget which song it was now um <laughs> totally got out of my head i've done that many but i did a jam <laughs> session with 30 of the songs told people the song sang the song and we had some feedback off that on the uh, instagram and um, i've been doing the art Lessons with Georgina, which are great. Um, the the joke sessions, um, the quizzes that people put up. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, but it's great, and I love it because being on my own, isolated, 
Mm. I am stuck here. And to see faces, just to see you and Josh today mm. is great. You know, I yeah. don't see, sometimes yeah. I WhatsApp my granddaughter and my daughter to see them and it's great, but I can't do it every day, you know, because they've got lives to get on with. But to see people is great. My house is like a goldfish bowl. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Big window, big window over there, big window over there. And I just watch people walking past me and it's like, hello. <laughs> and I've got a rainbow in the window with two yeah. hands stay uh, And I've got a little man on the inside here and then a bowl on the other side, like I've drawn it, with me three grandkids in. And me's the, the little man who's going across it's cal calibrated off into 12 weeks. So I get closer and closer to me pot of gold. Now, mm. if they say to me, you've got to go more than 12 weeks, any hair I have got is going to go completely. And I mean that, I'm a whole of me body. But, uh, but no, it's good to see people. <laughs> 12 yeah. weeks is a long time to last. It, it is. I'm missing all my friends. Like, I go out drinking with, the like, not just my friends, I go, like, but, like, do you know what I mean? I miss mm. working. And it's, so if it's uh, more than 12 weeks, it's going to be yeah. a bit more hellish. In 1998, guys, 1990, was it? 1999, sorry, yeah. I was given one week to live. And, oh. uh, I'm still here now. Hey, hey. So one week, one week, 12 weeks is a lifetime, but no, it soon yeah. passes. It goes like yeah, that, you know? it's hopefully um, so. Yeah. Um, if someone's like, you know, you've got 12 weeks to live, you think, oh my God. Mm -hmm. it's panic, but it, it's, it's not that long. No. As long as you don't think no. <laughs> hopefully it just flies by us, stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah so yeah. Well, forgetting so, the days, like not knowing what day it is, that's getting a uh, bit sleep. I yeah. wake up and I'm like, wow, what day is it? And then I'm like, oh, it's that day. One day See, left. I just, I just call every day, today, yesterday, and tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know what day. <laughs> um, a good way to, good way to do it. Mm. See, that's only side effect of me this week where I've forgot what day it is. I've normally been quite okay with it, but it's this week where I'm like. Yeah. I think it was halfway mm. through last week, I was just like, oh, what day is it? Like, yeah. Like, discombobulated. Mm. I was convinced it was Sunday this morning when I got up, and I had to come downstairs and look at the calendar, and I thought, <laughs> I just think, never mind, okay, yeah. So, Keith. Yeah? Would you like to play us a song? Okay, James. Um, I will play a song for you guys. Uh, you've got a choice here. I'll pick two out. Uh, two that I've done this week actually. I think one was the one I uh, I did with with the group. One is that we we've done it before with the jam session, mm. which we did. and uh, the other one is one that's pretty topical at the moment. It's somewhere over the rainbow, but the the one with uh, we can sing along to because you and Josh can sing the chorus with me. You can echo it. When I say in the morning, when we rise, when I say in the morning, you say in the morning, when we rise, when we rise, that's okay. the time, that's the time, I live the best, okay? Okay. Like this. Yellow is the colour of my true love's hair. In the morning, in the morning, when we rise, in the morning, in the morning, in the rise. <laughs> when we rise, we rise. That's the time. That's the time. That's the time. I love the best. <laughs> Blue is the color of the sky. I find. In the morning, in, in the morning, morning, when we rise, in the morning, in the morning, when we rise, when we rise, that's the time, that's, that's the, the time. time, that's the time, that's the time, I love the best, <laughs> <laughs> green is the color of the sky, in the morning, in the morning, in the morning. When, we rise. when we rise, when we rise, in the morning, when we rise, when we rise, when we rise. Oh, that's, the time. that's the time, that's the time, I love the best. <laughs> 
Never know it's the feeling that I get when I see you. Mm -hmm. When I see her, oh yeah, oh that's the time, oh that's the time, that's the time. I love the best. Freedom is a word I really use without thinking. Oh, all right. Oh, oh. Without thinking. Oh, yeah. Of the time. Oh, of the time. When I've been loved. What happened to the backing? <laughs> we did good. It went, <laughs> it went very well. hard on my end because I couldn't <laughs> get the lagging out a bit. Yeah. So I just heard James go, I <laughs> no. you and I had to take over that this time. Come on, Kim. If anyone's <laughs> listening to this, join in. I think we should get into the redo that late. Maybe. To do the, the backing. Yeah. <laughs> What we should do is get when we, the next the first jam session we'll, like it on my end. we'll get James to do it and you Josh you'll have to do it with us mm. for the jam session. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that's a that's a good one with the jam session when we get a good singing going on. Yeah, um, yeah. Get the tambourines out, and drums and everything, and bass. Mm -hmm. um, be so good, yeah. yeah. So, so how do you go about songwriting? Um, I'm actually working on a song at the moment, James, and it's um, it's a bit mad, really, because I usually get a little tune inside my head, or I'll have a poem that I've written and think that's going to make a better song, you know. Mm. Um, and I sort of blend the two together. Uh, mm. But lately, just lately, I've been coming up with little uh, chord progressions that are sort of... Um, And I make words up to that, so mm. that's how I do it. I make a chord progression and then the words to it, or I take one of my songs, like um, one of my poems, sorry. Uh, the one, uh, it's on my Facebook page, is The Dead. It starts it off as a poem. Blink when I am sleeping, I struggle inside my head, tangles within keeping between the living and the dead and then it goes on so mm. that came from a poem um that actually about my mum because the, day, the night my mum died i held a hand and she blinked mm. and died so it's a blink while i am sleeping a struggle inside my head mm. so it's called the dead and that's why it's called the dead so that's where i get my poems from um and my songs uh out of the ether really you know strange things happen uh and you're now going to mention, aren't you? I Our am favorite this game. Yeah, I am about to gay up. Yeah, this is a, this is a game me and Charlotte made up. Uh, it's called uh, Keith Fielding's Poetry Mix Up, and it's essentially where I have come up with two titles. Yeah, and uh, one uh, I've come up with two, and one of them is one of your poetry. So yeah. I'm going to read three names. Yeah, and two of them are fake, and one of them's yours. So okay, would you like to play this game? Go on, everybody. If you want to play it, I'll answer. Josh can answer first, and then I'll tell you the right answer. Go on. Okay. Because he's got the right advantage here, and he because he knows his poetry. Well, to be fair, to be fair, this is this is a three-person game because one, it's me who should know the answer, but I don't because uh, I wrote him. I've I wrote this months ago, um, but um, it's a three-person game because realistically, I should know the answer, but I don't. But the person who so you're the second person because you don't know the answer and then Keith tells us the answer. Yeah, oh, I've got you. Okay. Got you. So yeah. realistically it's just you answering Josh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, on, then. Right, okay. What, what do I win if I get it right? <laughs> um a pound. A, yes. A, a, it's not coming from me, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, a pound. <laughs> uh okay, cool. So magnet through the camber uh, 
Magnet, through the cam camera lens, or Life is Hard? I want to say Life is Hard. Seems like a Keith. That title. seems like a, yeah. Go Ooh. on. And the answer is... Life is Hard. Hey, oh. I was right. Okay. Well done. Should, should we do three yeah. of these and then keep us one? Yeah, I've got a new poem for you, James. Mm. You two can have a go at the title. I'm going to give you three titles at the end. Okay. Of it, but you do yours. Go on. Do your. Okay. One. We got. We got two more. Uh, we got. How about? I. I came up with some good ones towards the end. Um, foundation. The foundation. Tiles or walls. Foundation. And the answer is. is uh -oh. The answer is walls. There you go. To be ah. fair, I was going to say foundation as well because that does sound like it. I've lost them. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost them. Uh, one last one when I find it. Uh, okay. Uh, keep, uh, creepy crawlies. I'm waiting or intimidation. Well, I'm going to say I'm waiting. And the answer is, I am waiting. Whoa, well done, Josh. Hey. Two out of three. Well done. So, um, go on. Would you like to? Would you like to do your round? Yeah, you're ready, guys. I'm going to read the poem. Then I'll give you three titles, and then you've got to decide what title it is. Okay, this is good. And this is about giving us hope for the situation we're in at the moment. So, it goes like this. Oh, delicate seed in darkest isolation, your patience and resolve I have not. For I am restless to break free my bond, to risk my most precious life, and so to threaten those around me. Yet you await with timing precise until the moment arrives for you to rise from your deep, dark solitude to feel the warmth, to taste the air, to breathe freely, knowing that at last the foe has fled, has been defeated. You stand there proud, turning your face towards the radiant sun amidst your friends. For you, the darkness is but a memory, a time that you acquired the strength needed to rise and display your beauty. Now I too must wait in the darkness of isolation. I must ready myself for the day when it is time to break free into the sunlight, when I shall be as one with many. Okay, chaps. Now, is it called Darkest Isolation? Is it called Seed? Or is it called Strength? I'm going to go with Strength. See, I was going to say... Isolation, seed or Strength? I would call it, um, yeah, maybe strength. I'll go with strength. And it's called? <laughs> uh -uh. Seed. <laughs> oh. Simple little one word. <laughs> and that's what I like at the moment. We're all in the darkness and we've got to blossom out of it. Yeah. I watched, where it come from, I was watching, and it's amazing. I was in my back garden the other day. And it, I've got it flagged, apart from my pond and round my pond, which has got mm. flowers and things. But through the flags, through the concrete, there was a little tiny thing coming through, a little plant, I don't know what it is, but this little plant's coming through, and I thought, if that can come through the concrete, I can make it through 12 weeks of isolation. Mm. That oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. So, would you say it's easier to write a poem or a song? Um, I um, find it easier to write a poem because yeah. I don't have to do the music to it. Uh, and usually the poem comes first, the words come first, and then I'll put music to it. So would you um, say that a poem is a song without music, or would you say there's a difference? Um, yeah, I suppose I would really, James, yeah, I would. Mm. And it's, a poem, a song can be a statement, like a lot of the protest songs, like we did with Joe Cool, Vinnie Peculiar and that, and their state call. Hmm. And they can say something, or they can just be a melody that's a nice melodic sort of hip parade type pop music song. Whereas a poem usually has got some deeper meaning, I think. 
Um, yeah. Like, see, like most of mine are quite depressing because I haven't had three breakdowns over the years. But so th there is a lot of angst in my poems um, mm. and anger at times. Uh, but then I like to write light things for the kids. Yeah. See, I can't. But, I can't write an angry song. Every time I've tried, it just doesn't work out. Um, yeah, it's hard. I, I mean, mm. if you try to write a poem first, it might be better. Mm. Uh, there's a song, there's a poem in the book uh, called Introspection, and it's, I can't, I've asked him, who's a better musician than me, and I've asked John and other people mm. to do it with me, you know, because they'd have to play the music, and Steve said, it, in a brilliant way that he is, it's really off, it's in a different key and everything, but it, it goes uh, something that I can't play it, I'll just sing it. Uh, what are these things that fill my mind and will not let me see the answer to my problem to discover life's destiny? A million things to sort out to get clear inside my head. Sometimes I feel like crying out, Ah, you lose, I'm dead. A lot of people will say to me, what does this poem mean, you know, and I think poetry is more belonging to yourself. It comes mm. from within, where a song you send out to everyone to listen to, you know, um, although I hope everyone reads the poems, but, um, which is available in all good bookshops and on social. With that in mind, how do, I know you've actually just said, but like, would you like to, to plug, like, where you can find poems and song, your songs? Where I can find the poems. Yeah, and so you can find the songs on uh, Instagram or um, what's it called? Facebook. Just go in for Keith Fielding, and they're all on there. And um, the poems are on Facebook, Keith, Keith Fielding author, because uh, I've got actually three Facebook sites. There's also Me Me Mate, which is our radio site, because uh, we do Hot and Community Radio. We, oh, did God, we didn't, we didn't close even mention. Down. Yeah. yeah, it's closed down the radio. Oh, so, um, luckily, I got me letter on the Monday to say I've got to stay in, mm. and uh, the radio station closed that week because obviously, you know, you can't be going into a radio. No, uh, no. Studio and, no. Uh, things, but, but yeah, it's a shame. But hopefully, we'll come back again bigger and better, and things yeah, will be okay. Hopefully so. Uh, and on the radio show, I do do. Uh, I try to plug as many uh, local singers, poets, writers. Mm. Uh, David Chesworth on, who's got a brilliant book out at the moment. Uh, I forgot what it's called. Uh, it's in the case over there. Uh, so look for that. I've had Junior on. I've had uh, Colin Guthrie, uh, Gareth Eason, um, Mondegreen. Uh, trying to get Greg Oldfield on. Uh, I've had Anno on and Carl Ormby, um, Red Monk, and it's great, you know, I've had a few bands and people on over the time, so anyone out there who wants to come on when the radio starts again, give us a shout and you can come on, you know. Um, okay, well, cheers for, thank you for joining us, Keith. Okay, um, thanks, lads. Okay, and it's great. I... I'll see you soon. Okay, take care, stay safe, guys. Thank you.